Hello everyone, welcome to UI Brains and this is Naveen. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the JavaScript built-in object called number and string and JSON. So for this, uh, yeah, so we're going to discuss number, string and JSON. So we need uh, setup. So let me copy this folder, make it as uh, 12 underscore JS underscore number as well as string objects okay I don't need this and go to the HTML I'll just say number and the string objects this is also string or number and string okay so let me open this in a browser number and string objects inspect console yeah it's ready um yeah in app.js first let's start with a number so this number actually we use to perform uh, numerical operations like uh, um, you want to get uh, the same maximum integer or minimum integer or infinity you want to convert string to number number to string uh, so for those are time those type of operations we're going to use uh, number objects so let's see what is that so here if you want to access the the minimum number accepted in javascript is uh, you can just say a uh, console dot log directly um, number dot minimum safe integer okay so this is the minimum number which can allow minimum integer number you can allow in javascript uh, oh, sorry it's, it's max sorry 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 it's, it's max number okay the minimum number you want to access is um, minimum number you can represent that using uh, console dot log of number dot minimum safe integer so you get the minimum number is a maximum number it's a minimum number and you can even represents an infinity in a programming let's say positive infinity so let's say a console dot logo number dot positive infinity you can represent using uh, this infinity so you can represent infinity using this and even you can represent negative um, infinity so console dot log of number dot negative infinity you get the negative infinity like this and uh, one more thing is sometimes you have a requirement to convert string to number number to string so let's see what is that you have a two functions one is parse int and parse float so let's see them so i have um what is parse int is um suppose you have let's uh, string okay is equal to some 100 string is there okay um it is string now so if you say a console dot log of type of str so you get it is string type if you want to convert that to number um you can do as uh let's num1 is equal to number dot parse integer of str you can provide like this let's take str1 okay so if you can print them um, type of str and uh, which is converted to the type of uh, num1 so see here str uh, sorry it's s1 i have modified yeah check so string has been converted to a number okay using parse int but the problem here is if you have a, any real number then what happens it won't uh, um, it won't give you the actual number it just give only the hundred uh, if you want to catch the point value also instead of int you have a float um, so that is gonna be um, same thing I'll copy I paste it so parse float you have if you want to get of uh, this point value also and uh, you can do string two number two string two this is two this is two and this is gonna be the parse 
uh, floats you get the same number as it is but here we get only 100 next uh, we have sometimes uh, number can be converted to string suppose uh, that's called to string function uh, what is that is let's num3 is equal to I have directly a number called 100 I have to convert this to a string format so how to convert is um, let's num string is equal to number 3 dot 2 string you can do like this then uh, you can just say console dot log off here you use backtick um, uh, you can just say type of again so type of uh, num3 and then type of uh, num string so what happens is converts a number to string is to string and sometimes you can write uh, the numbers in a uh, decimal format I mean uh, a fixed number of um, dot positions you can use two fixed like suppose you have amount amount is equal to some 520 rupees okay but I want to dis display this like a rupees format so dot zero zero uh, how you do that is um, you can just say console.log of amount dot to fixed you can provide two so what happens is the fraction digits will be two you get one five twenty dot zero zero okay so to display the uh, any currency numbers uh, you can go with in this way fake two fixed okay so this is actually um um two fixed okay two for currencies this is about uh, number objects let's take another object called string so what is string object is let's take string related operations uh, string we have a lot of uh, functions some useful functions of string so let's see that so let uh, message is equal to either you say new string of uh, new string of something or uh, you can say string of something okay sorry string of good morning you can just write like this so string of good morning or normal string you can write either ways you can write and here if you want to get the length of a string so how many number of characters are there in a string so you can get using console.log of message dot length so length is 12 characters okay and next uh, you want to convert them to lowercase the complete string you want to convert to lowercase uh, you have it so console dot log of message dot to lowercase so you get all the text in a lowercase you want to convert them to uppercase so just say uppercase so console dot log of message dot to uppercase you get the uppercase string okay and uh, uh, one more thing is uh, there is something called substring uh, what is substring is uh, okay what is substring is if you want to get a partial string generally the string can be stored like an array like index base so g will be 0 index 1 index 2 index like that so suppose you want to get a partial string based on this you will use a substring so how substring works is the index and the number of characters so at what index from that this is the starting index okay let's take a start index so from start index how many number of characters you wanted suppose I want to get the value called GOOD so how to get that is uh, console dot logo message dot substring uh, substring of 0 comma 4 if I say 0 comma 4 you get the answer as G O O D. Okay, fine. Uh, so you get the answer G O O D. Next, uh, you wanna get just morning. So how to get that is again substring uh, console dot logo message dot substring of phi comma. So because space also one uh, one character. So phi comma um, seven you can write. So you will get the answer as morning instead 
if you have don't provide this length if you have not provided the length only the index if you provide so what happens is from this particular index all the elements you're gonna get because I need a from this index the complete string I wanted okay so I just provide only the index so from the index all elements you get so this is also another way morning you catch another one is uh, char edge uh, what is char it is you get the, the character uh, at the given index so it at what particular index you will get the character you want to get the M so caret at the position of 5 so you can just say a uh, console.log of message dot char edge of 5 so you will get the M as a character and one more function also there char code at what is char code is you will get the actually ASCII code uh, like a ASCII code character you get like a msg dot char code edge of 5 so the capital M ASCII code number is going to be the 77 like this. so these are actually a, a string uh, related uh, operations and uh, functions uh, lastly another object we're gonna see is uh, JSON object what is JSON object is it's very useful uh, object of JavaScript this is used to convert a string to an object and object to string format okay so here if you want to convert a string to an object so for this we have a function called um, stringify uh, sorry it's, it's parse and uh, if you want to convert an object to, to string format then we have a function called stringify so two functions stringify okay so string to object is parse and object to string is stringify so let's see these two functions now I'll just take an object let uh, student is equal to an object if let's make the name as Rajan H 20 and quotes CSC okay and uh, uh, you can take the college college is uh, some IT okay so I have a student right so this uh, I say uh, console dot log of students you get student object as it is like this so this object I want to convert in a string a JSON string format uh, you can do like this let's uh, student string is equal to uh, JSON is a capital built-in object JSON dot uh, stringify of student if you do the console dot log of student string so you will get see it is converted like a json uh, rated uh, uh, format so json string format okay uh, it's a string okay you can see the color difference is string now uh, the same string uh, you will convert an object because generally when you're doing with uh, ajax operations or any backend data you will get to the your local client uh, so you'll get data in a string format you, you must have to convert to an object format and use it so how to convert a string to an object is uh, so this is object to string next another one so string to object string to object how to do is let's uh, new new student is equal to I'll say student uh, sorry like this JSON dot parse uh, student string and just say console dot log of new students you will get back again the objects so object to string format and string back to the object so mostly we use these two uh, functions of JSON uh, uh, mostly useful functions of JSON uh, objects okay so this is about number string and JSON objects and uh, so enough with this programming and uh, in the next video we'll see uh, uh, some good examples like some programmatical examples because we have learned a lot of uh,
um, concepts like variable declaration, dead types, operators, functions, uh, conditional statements, objects, arrays, and all. So let's mix all the concepts and we'll do some programmatical questions and then we'll start with the DOM manipulation. Okay, so that's it enough for this video and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video. Thank you. Thank you.